The global water cycle keeps our planet alive. The rivers are its arteries. Rivers run down mountains through forest, flow through desert and delta, course through bended bay and swerving shore, and recirculate back from our ocean. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Access to water has defined where human populations have flourished. Civilization emerged between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers on the fertile crescent of Mesopotamia in modern-day Iraq. Now we are changing the carbon and nitrogen cycles. We are altering the global water system too, through damming, extraction, irrigation and climate change. Many rivers no longer reach the sea. We move more sediment than natural erosion and rivers. We've built 48,000 large dams. We've drained half of global wetlands. We use an area the size of South America to grow our crops, an area the size of Africa for our livestock. Agriculture accounts for 70% of global freshwater use, and we need to feed a growing population. In a single lifetime, we've become a phenomenal global force. We're pushing Earth into a new geological epoch, the Anthropocene, dominated by humanity. We have altered Earth's snow cover, sea ice and ocean volume, fundamental elements of the water cycle. Climate change will bring more flooding, drought and disease. A warmer atmosphere holds more water vapour. This is causing the water cycle to intensify. Wet regions are becoming wetter, dry areas drier. Rainfall patterns are changing. Damming, mining and extraction are causing two-thirds of major deltas to sink. Almost 800 million people have no safe drinking water. 2.4 billion remain without adequate sanitation. 1.7 billion people live in places where groundwater is being extracted faster than it can be replenished. Four out of five people worldwide face risk to their water security. For water security for all, we urgently need innovative and creative approaches to policy from local to global. With nations competing for limited resources, we must find better ways to manage them. And we must adapt to a changing water cycle. This is the challenge of water in the Anthropocene.